Okay, so there's a TP teaching going on. We got permission to stream it. We're going to show you. So this is the North Star, then we grab the Morning Star, and then can you pull it that way? Yeah.
your tripod set. So, and then this is usually where you'll, where you're, where you'll, where you will stand up, and then you, yeah, and then you would like. So this is the north star. So you, you hold on to that because that's where you're gonna place your door to your, to facing east, and that's the pole that never moves. So you, you pay attention to the north star. in our star so this one's gonna well, I think it should come a little bit more this way. Yeah so up since more? we're just gonna take the picture as beautiful as it is it should be right about here. Let's move on the other works? side of the oh. truck. We on the other side of the truck because the truck's in the way. Because you're gonna see that. You're gonna see that. Okay. All right. Right there. Right here, guys. Yeah. Let's, let's go right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, we are. Thank you. Okay. So this guy from the Standing Rock Sea Tribe is like basically telling people where they can and can't go. Don't mind the bootlicker. We're gonna do this in a good way. So this other person saying, "Don't mind the bootlicker," referring to the representative of the Standing Rock Tribal Government. Thank you women for teaching this and doing this. There's men that were not strong enough to do this. There's men from here that would rather boot lick and kiss someone else's ass than have to do this. Stand here, be defiant in one of the most historic times to stand up for what's sacred. That connects us all. You young women, you, you sisters here, that reflect all nations, all places that are hurting and suffering. You chose to do this much for us on this day when many people are just at home watching in the comforts of their home. They couldn't get out here when we put a call out. We asked a lot of them to come and they couldn't come this time because maybe it's too cold for them. That's all right, we love them too. But you were proud of today for doing this for all of us that can't be here. And for all those sellouts that just watch and don't know what to do, you show them a good way. You give a good example for their children so that they can find a way home. Before the sun sets, they threaten us again to put up one of our homes to keep forward with our spirituality and our ceremonies. They sent some government official to be their little boot licking ass man out here. He has no authority, he's nobody's friend. No matter what colors they put next to him, they're all sellouts. But these ones on this side of the line, they came here and they did it right. They came here and they lived right. They tried to do it good for everybody. They didn't come here just in the end. 
they came here and they racked up charges. And they brought their families to catch charges too. And you got to witness just a little bit of what's left of what's here in this tower. So you take it home and you tell them when you sit around the table with the other bootlickers that you have the privilege to be here with warriors, with real women and grandmothers from many nations that stood here. And you were privileged because their pig stood behind you and protected you. So you remember that. You weren't here because you were a friend. You're just a scout. Hey, 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 you guys gotta remember the poles gotta move out so it doesn't move over. We're gonna go that, that way. This is the north pole, so this one comes right here. This is the door. Decommission all the pipeline. 
same way. Out of your own pockets, you're going to have to pay for all these cleanup jobs. They don't have anybody in scuba gear certified to be able to go under these waters to find that pipeline leak. Hazmat training. You know what they consider hazmat training? Crowd control. Yeah, just stay back this way. We got people working on it. That's what Enbridge told me. Enbridge told me that. So this hunger strike is not only just, it's not about me. It's about each and every one of you. And you see that baby over there? That's for his future. And for the future generations to come after that. So with all of you, I'm praying for you and those across the world. So that we can have fresh water. That's why I'm on this hunger strike. Because I know how important it is for our future generations to have what we have. But even better as a playground for when they start walking. Miigwech! Peace and the song for AIM, the American Indian Movement, uh, for anyone who recognizes it or doesn't know it.
So yeah, that's Major French Pope from the Army Corps of Engineers uh, from DC. He's still here. People are concerned that uh, the Army Corps or North Dakota authorities or the Standing Rock Tribal Government representative might try to force people off the road before the ceremony is done. Two men there in the back looking sort of scornful. The white guy on the left is from the office of North Dakota's governor. Um, the native guy on the right is a representative from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Um, he's been escorting North Dakota government officials uh, in the camp area, basically like on their behalf, working with them. And they're trying to get people to not be here doing this.
Please tell him. That guy was a representative from the standing rock tribe, basically saying everyone has to clear the road and get out of here. I don't think people are happy. Try to come clear out this TP with military force. to this TP being set up, uh, North Dakota law enforcement. Um, there's the MRAP armored vehicle from the Stutzman County Sheriff. Um, you might remember that from the November 20th standoff on Backwater Bridge. Um, from the top of that vehicle, um, sheriffs were hosing people down with a water cannon in freezing weather. So that, um, it's like armored military equipment that they brought out in response to this TP ceremony.
I guess the militarized law enforcement down the way are telling everyone that if they don't remove the TP, they're going to come and confiscate it. Police are moving in. We're going to come show you. So, yeah, there's law enforcement and riot shields out. There, it looks like they're about ready to march on this TP here. They said they're going to tow any cars that are on the road. They're going to confiscate the TP. They might arrest people that are here. Um, and this guy standing in the shot is from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. He's been telling people to take the TP down. He's been, like, escorting officials from North Dakota state government in the area of the camps. Um, they're working together. We're going to go back to the TP. This guy's a representative of North Dakota's governor. It's the road or the dirt. I'm not, I'm not trying to escalate. All right, then just, just go want, on that side because you're not on our side no more. Okay. You've done get, your job I for the day. I got to get my car and then I'll uh, leave. What was the thing? I, th this was, was requested to have Now you want us to it? afford you to get your car? Now you can go over there now. Which one? Uh, Who are you? All right, so. Who's from the governor's office over there? Who's there? That's what I'm saying. It's really simple. This is not a big deal right now. Everything's okay. They're going to start, and they're going to finish, and they're going to go. We're going to be done. It's really easy. Tell them, excuse me, Sean, that was relayed to the front message. He's with the governor's office. He doesn't have the control over this. And he ain't helping either. But it's okay. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go there. But just assure them that it's just a teaching, and that's all. No, and we've communicated with him. It was just okay. a timing thing, so it's, okay. whatever we can do to de-escalate tensions, that's what they're we They're escalating. Do. It's, it's a, we started, we said we we're going to start and finish. Right. Well, yeah. it would have been helpful if it would have been communicated it's, it's, sooner. It's up, and then they're going to do what they got to do. It's going to be done. Yeah. And they yep. take it down, and it'll be gone. I know. I just, yeah. I just they, they know that, so, and they so know they that. were just so saying I just really need to know that you're not going to go over there saying that it's, like, really crazy because it's no, really not. I'm not. But, okay. I, but I can't stop them from coming when that when the time limit was requested and that was and it was granted and the time limit has gone over and so we're just cool. we want to but just assure them I'll, and they have all the videos cool. Yeah, cool. I mean all it's right, right, right here it's in the open Obviously. but we don't want it to be a situation so just please all we're asking cool. is that we help people get off the road go back to camp and move all these cars it's not like anybody's coming down this road anyway I, okay, I'm gonna, um, you know I've, come into a position where I've been able to facilitate between the camp and and over there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go walk mm -hmm. up there. Yeah. And if, if there's any value yep. in what they want to do here, what they want to continue to do, yep. they can either arrest me yep. and, and take me out of the picture and then just deal with the situation as it is, or they can just give us a little bit of time here mm -hmm. to just to honor the ceremony. So if you, would walk with me, that. Yeah. if you would cool. walk with me yep. over there, I, they can either arrest me and just handle it that way first. <clears throat> because I am relinquishing any cooperation I have if this ceremony can't be honored on behalf of the woman because I'm a woman and this is this is our spirit.
deal is I've been facilitating the cooperation that's been happening. This is a ceremony. This is a woman's ceremony. This is where our power lies. I'm a woman. And you guys have seen the power of the women here. We're cooperating. We're doing our part. I'm going to go up there. If they want to come forward, they're going to have to arrest me first. And I will not be available to facilitate any cooperation or anything. So we're losing that. That's their choice to make. That's your guys' choice to make. So we can go and we can do that right now. And I'm asking that the ceremony be honored. Uh, this guy has got some info. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Hang on. So, it's all good. It's all good. Just, just, just like as promised, take the teepee down and everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. We need this world open. I just turned the ambulance away from. I know, but here's here's what to, to ensure that because I've been facilitating this cooperative project pro yeah. yeah. progress. Yeah. And I will stand there, and then they can arrest me before no. they arrest anyone Nobody's else. Nobody's gonna get arrested. Nobody's no, gonna. I, I'm standing here. No. Here's what I'm gonna do. Just let me talk, because this I'm doing this for my people. Every day that I go through, I'm tired, and I do everything I do for them. Just let me finish, okay? okay? okay. So if they want to disrespect our woman's ceremony here and just and try to rush it along, this is a spiritual ceremony. You can't rush oh, it. I know, I know. And so. They want to arrest somebody, they can arrest no. me, and I won't be here in the morning no. to help okay, anybody. No. No. Sure. Let's, let's go back. Let's, help. let's work together and take the TP down. Oh, yeah, the women are just doing what they're doing. They're taking it down. Oh, okay. Yes. It's, it's, That TP is part of the TP ceremony. The police showed up with a line of riot cops and an armored vehicle. It's all cool. Everything's cool, guys. So, yeah, a woman from the camps has been helping facilitate um, negotiations between the camp and the Army Corps, saying she's going to go up and talk to the police, asking to let them finish the ceremony, and that if they arrest her, um, she will be unable to or will refuse to continue facilitating negotiations because basically this is a deal breaker here for a lot of people, um, for the police showing up with force to, um, you know, demand that people stop the ceremony before it's complete. on this ceremony, then they can arrest me first. If they're going to come on my people, they can arrest me, and I'll be in jail tomorrow morning. I won't be here for no negotiating meeting. I won't be here to there's a, a There's a women's gathering this weekend, and I really... No, I really wanted to be there, but I, I, I took on a, a position, a role within my community here for my community to mediate and to, and to negotiate a, a cooperative effort to clean up the land between the Army Corps and Ocheti. And it's been going well. And this, at the same time, this women's gathering is going on that I took this role, so I'm not able to be a part of it this week. Again. The one in Cheyenne River. The one in Cheyenne River. So you, instead you put a tent up here for a women's ceremony? No. The women's ceremony is happening at Cheyenne River Camp. And 
this the ending part of their weekend ceremony is they brought a teepee to the road here and they they put it up and as they put it up it's a ceremony they're explaining the teachings of the teepee and the significance of every pole and how you put it up and what that means that's happening and it's not fast enough so the there are, are Martin County officers that have come across the barricade and they're they're, they're um, these two men are officials from the office of North Dakota's governor on the right and on the left from the Army Corps of Engineers they're saying they have no control over the sheriffs who are wanting to come in here and take this TP I'm ready to go I'm here because I'm if anybody's going to jail I'm going to jail first before any of my people I am protecting the sacred woman's ceremony. That is who we are. And when, after the uh, TP was set up, they just came down and tried to dismantle the ceremony and-, and They put a timeline on it. And the timeline wasn't fast enough, so they began advancing. So they they're threatened it. by a number of women sitting inside of the having the ceremony Some people have started they, to take the TP down. but my understanding is that they do not want to come. They see that there's progress on the TP, but if and when they come, that there is no differentiation between the media or anybody else. So that's the warning to you guys. To have this is usual, then. I, I know, but they just said that they, they said that they're not going to honor that because they can't in the moment we have, differentiate. We have cameras that the press. Tell them so people I, have I advocated for that. So the law enforcement has sent a message to this woman that they will arrest journalists as well as anyone else who's here. Um, and then so they would things sort haven't it changed. Out later. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, so it looks like some more people are marching here from down by where the TP is getting taken down. Rebooting your phone. Okay, looks like these two guys on the left, it's uh, Major French Pope from the Army Corps of Engineers. On the right, I forget his name, but he's an aide to North Dakota's Governor Doug Burgum. Um, this guy who's walking towards him is from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. These three guys have been working together in the last few days. Let's all go back now, guys. Please, please. Cer ceremony's done. They're not moving up. They're not moving up. Let's just go back, please. Just do this in a good way, please. There's a good ceremony back there. It's prayerful. Let's keep our prayers tonight, please. Keep our prayers. Peace. Let's have some peace. We just told them that. They're not yeah, coming. Yeah, they're not coming. They're not coming. What no, your, they're not. Sir, what is their main concern, no. sir, with the TP and the, road, and the, the ceremony? The road, the road was just being, being blocked. We have to turn away ambulance from Standing Rock. Well, you've had the road blocked for some three months now. <laughs> and we worked a long time to get this road open for for ambulance services, so we just ask Sorry. respectfully to go back, please, please. More numbers. I just, I just want to ask something.
the teepee's down. People took the teepee down, which was supposedly the main concern of this mass of uh, sheriffs and police in riot gear. Um, with an armored vehicle over here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, so the police are advancing now. They're coming towards us, guys. Here they come. Right, you know. Just keep going. Everybody go, go back. please. Let's go back, guys. Go back. Let's go back. Let's go back, guys, please. So, um, a representative from the governor's office said they weren't coming, and then they marched forward a little bit. It's not clear if they're going to move on the crowd or not. Come on, guys, go back. Sheriffs and police in riot gear um, with the MRAP armored vehicle did advance slightly after the guy from the governor's office gave his word that they wouldn't advance, but they haven't really come forward more than maybe like 10 or 12 feet.
try this morning. Yeah, probably not. Um, can you repeat what you said before? I think I overheard part of it just about if there's more ceremonies on the road this week. We're just asking uh, the, the law enforcement just wanted to let everyone know that if there are more ceremonies done on the road this week that they'll be arrested immediately. Okay. We just want to avoid any confrontation uh, with individuals if at all possible, and so we're just asking okay. that anyone so, so would like... So if this were to happen again, say, tomorrow, you think um, law enforcement would come in and use violence? I didn't say use violence. I'd yeah. say arrest okay. people for Do being think, on uh, the road. Like batons or rubber bullets? I'm or not, not going to speculate on the tactics okay. that would be used, but okay. the law enforcement will respond to individuals okay. on the road. Are you worried about another uh, civil rights excessive force lawsuit, like the one that's already pending I, I'm, in the coming days? I'm just worried that I, I don't want anyone to be arrested. Okay. That's okay. Um, right. I think I heard your name before, but can you just repeat it again yeah. so I have it? My name's Levi Bachmeyer. I work okay. for the Office of the Governor. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes. What's your name again? So, yeah, the sheriffs and police, the National Guard, whatever, are saying that if something like this happens again, they'll just come in and arrest everyone. So there, there's been like negotiations going back and forth for a few days where the Army Corps, people from North Dakota's government are saying, we want to work with you, we're willing to de-escalate, but then um, pretty dramatic escalation here. Come on, come on, can we go? You got him go too. Um, ma'am, ma'am, we're trying to get our sister safe. So can we go too? We just got to get everybody, the quicker we clear the road, the quicker Holy House will be safe. Still over here, um, where the TP was set up and taken down before. You can see the camp here. Um, those lights off in the distance are the Bureau of Indian Affairs Federal Police Blockade that's on the reservation side of 1806. That is uh, just making sure no supplies are coming into camp. Basically, they're trying to like cut off supplies so the people will leave. You can see the camp is uh, not gone, but a lot of the debris or abandoned camps have been cleared out. Come on, come on, can we go please, man? Yeah. Come on, I'm off the road.
Okay, so just for a quick week trip, we came up onto Highway 1806 right here by the Osete Sokoan, or it's also called the Osete Oyate Camp, basically the main camp up against the Dakota Access Pipeline. It's been here near the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota, but not on the reservation, just over the border, right by the Missouri River. And so there was a meeting or sort of informal negotiation taking place between some people from the camp and officials from the Army Corps of Engineers in the office of the governor of North Dakota. And then um, some other indigenous women who came down from the women's gathering that's happening up the road right now at Cheyenne River, Sioux Tribes Camp, came and did a teaching and a ceremony on how to set up a teepee. Um, they set up the TP sort of as they were finishing. Um, people noticed that this group of sheriffs and police and National Guard and riot gear had amassed just down the road at their barricade with the MRAP armored vehicle. And they were saying if people didn't clear the road and take the TP down, they would come in and make arrests and confiscate the TP. There's still a woman standing up there who's been acting as sort of a negotiator between the camp and the state of North Dakota and the Army Corps. And she's saying that if the police come forward and arrest her, she'll refuse to continue to facilitate those negotiations and that um, the government's on their own, basically. And so it looks like they're not going to come forward and arrest her. The TP was taken down. It seemed like people were able to buy enough time to complete the ceremony. So, yeah, and... Uh, so there was a representative, his, his name's Levi, I forget his last name, he said it on the stream for us. A representative of North Dakota's governor said that uh, he has no control over law enforcement here, um, which seems strange to me since uh, these, this is all North Dakota law enforcement. Either the North Dakota National Guard, North Dakota State Troopers, um, or the Morton County Sheriff, who were all in the state of North Dakota, North Dakota entities. And so he said they wouldn't move forward, and the police did move forward slightly, but not that much, maybe like 10, 12, 14, 15 feet. And then um, people moved back and are basically still clearing the road. The police had said, or the sheriffs, it's mostly sheriffs, I think there's some police, Bismarck police, etc. there. They said that they would tow any vehicles that were on the road and would confiscate the TP and arrest people. They also sent a messenger up to say that we will arrest journalists, we don't consider journalists to be separate from anyone else in the crowd. Um, so... The uh, sorry state of press freedom covering issues in North Dakota continues to this day. I would say nothing's changed since uh, many of us were arrested for reporting on these stories last year. Um, and I, I, I mean, that basically was like a direct threat to journalists that they made just now. Um, but yeah, it's business as usual for law enforcement in North Dakota. I wouldn't say I was shocked or surprised by that at all. I knew that by coming back here to cover this story, I could just like basically be arrested or have violence done to me at any time. And, you know, I accept that as a risk. I prefer to avoid it, for sure. Okay, I think there's like a concert going down at camp. We're going to see if we can keep the signal up from in there. Okay, it looks like the police are walking back. Or the sheriffs, sorry. It's mostly all sheriff's deputies in riot gear up there with some police officers from the Bismarck and Mandan police departments. Or really all law enforcement across North Dakota is all deployed here and they're all getting tons of overtime. I think it's upwards of $40 million has been borrowed from the Bank of North Dakota to fund uh, law enforcement activities to protect the Dakota Access Pipeline mm -hmm. from indigenous resistance. Okay, so that was just a recap of the situation. We're going to bring the stream down. Might have some more videos or streams for you tonight, or maybe not. We're going to see what else is going on. But thanks for watching. And just a reminder, Unicorn Riot is a non-hierarchical, decentralized collective. Um, we all work really hard. All of our work is funded by donations and material support from our supporters. You can go to our website, unicornriot.ninja, and click on the tab that says Support Our Work. If you want to support us directly, also we have an Amazon wish list you can find on there uh, if you want to help us get some gear. So yeah, this has been Chris reporting for Unicorn Riot. I'm going to take the stream down. Thanks for watching, everyone.